So, today these little soldiers are gonna help our king march through a swamp and take out all the enemies. But not by themselves, because they don't do very much. What we need to do is take these five and four soldiers, add them together to make nine, and then they can take out the slime in one hit. We get to move on, and our soldiers come back to us. Before we get to add new soldiers or possible other things, like a mouse that's worth six, that should be good for us. And then we take on another slime worth 18, but we'll just take this new six value mouse and then multiply it by the three. No problem at all. And then hopefully we get something that's going to be really good for us. Like, oh, a fireball spell. Dealing 25 damage. I like it. Oh, gross. Especially now that we have to fight this worm here. And it eats the first soldier attacking. Oh, that's not good at all. So let's just waste this two value mouse on that right away. And then we can deal 25 damage to you. That brings you down to 39. So let's add you two together to create seven. And then multiply you two together to create 35. And then once you two fight, you'll be left with four health remaining. And then when you fight with the mouse, the worm is taken out, but the mouse gets converted. But hey, the other mouse is alive. Wow, which is perfect because then these two can fight. That worked really good. It took all of our soldiers though. Let's get something especially strong. Like, wow, a 20. It also halves target monsters HP. Oh, I like that idea. Lead the charge, my new badger. Oh, great, into another worm. Lovely. Well, here, let's just get rid of the slime by fireballing it right away. And then if we half your health down to 21, ooh, ooh, that actually works pretty good. We'll just give our soldiers some zeal so our badger's worth 21. And then sacrifice a little mousy to the worm because he's got an appetite. Now the badger takes him out. That worked really good let's get something else that's strong like that like wow this guy just has 25 values straight up i can definitely use that so we have a slime here that's worth 38 and if you get attacks then you divide let's just see i don't want to math this let's just attack you and then okay seven and six that actually works out pretty good let's see if i can get you up to 38 i won't have to worry about that but we need 13 to get there unless we give everybody some zeal okay now we just need 12 which is three times four and then we end Add you two together to make 38. Excellent. Get rid of them. And then we'll just fireball the bigger slime. And then we'll fireball the smaller slime because five and seven also make 12. And that fight is resolved. This is working really well, but we have a second fight right away. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, you're hiding a little slime behind you too? Gross. Can I just get rid of you? Just like move you over there. Oh, you come back. Okay, fine. At least our badger can half your health right away. And if we fireball you, that brings you down to 147. Let's see if we can work with 172 then. We can back up, thankfully. So we have you do that. Okay, fireball the slime so I don't have to worry about it. And then to get 172, we need 25 times like uh, 7? Yeah, times 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then multiply 25 by that, 175. It carries over a little bit, but I can work with that. You're corrupted to 3, but that's okay because we get some zeal to the mousy back here he doesn't need to be sacrificed anymore because he can finish the fight oh that worked really good can i get something stronger that guy was really strong oh it's just all spells but wow exponents that's gonna be super powerful with these high value units now we fight uh more of those things 491 goodness gracious great balls of fire give it to you at least as much as I can. Okay, so 25 times 25 is 625. That's way too much. Let's see, that's close to 500. So let's multiply these two together to create 10, add you to that one, and then you exponented creates, oh, 900. That's I way too much. I don't know what hard. I'm thinking. 491 divided by two is 246. That's a lot easier to work with. We can just create a 10 up here with these two and then multiply the 25 by that. It carries over a little bit but it's doable let's see this big badger is kind of wasted here let's back up a little bit maybe i shouldn't fireball that big slime right away i could just add these two together and take him out in one go but i feel like that puts me at disadvantage against the big mutant here i don't even know what to call that unless we do 120 times oh we can't times anymore and those two added together just creates a way big number do not need that in my life although just exponenting you like that creates 400 so that's close to what i want here let's give these guys some zeal because i feel like they're gonna need them and i need to put you two together just to get rid of this slime that's absolutely something that needs to happen hmm we have some bigger numbers now 21 square creates 441 Ooh, that's pretty close after those two clash that's 50 health left but you two together creates 42 oh i got this so now we just make them fight and then you two fight 
And the monster's left with eight. That's enough for a fireball. Oh, that was perfect. I didn't even need to use my kick for that. Okay, now we have an ogre in a swamp. That makes sense. The slime is just too strong for a fireball. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, if we have 155, that creates 78, which is close enough to 25 times three. And then you two added together create 77. Then one more to everybody. And that's 78. So let's just get you out of my life. Okay, now... Ooh, I have another addition spell that's perfect because 21 and 6 creates 27 get rid of you and then fireball like every high school dance ever Ooh, you got a value of 32 or another multiplying scroll only having one is really difficult so i'll take another one of those okay now we have two more fights oh oh this is just a lot of slimes let's see if we can give everybody their own slime to fight by just separating them to make my brain work easier and if i half one of the slimes then he divides anyway because of the badger ability you're absolutely fighting this one because of the amount of overkill this guy has. And then you... I wish I could divide you, but I can't. So you might be out of this fight entirely. If I can get them one below, then I can just give everybody zeal. That'd be better. So I can add you two together to create seven. And then you go up there. You two get multiplied to create 10 and go up here. Or you fight you. Okay, let's just get the numbers working a little bit. I need to take you out before giving zeal. You corrupt. Yep, that's fine. And then we give some zeal. So now you two fight, take you out. You two fight, take you out. And then I can fireball the big slime for free. And then it looks like I'm going to need to bring the king in to fight. So let's just have this mouse attack you two. So you divide. Okay, so the king only loses four health. I'm okay with that. I don't want to do that anymore, though. We have another fight ahead of us already with some even bigger slimes here. We'll just take this mouse here and exponent him. So that's 36. That's easy to do. And then we need to put you two together and then you two somewhere like that. Get out of here. You two together to create 27. So you fight that. Can you have something before that? No, it's not a good idea to have the slimes. You two together creates... 10. It's not great. Unless I have this guy fight, this guy drop down to 10, and then you two fight. That seems kind of wasteful, though. But I think no matter what I do, I'm gonna have to go through with it. So you two fight, clear that, and then you're corrupted, but then you two fight right away. And then we'll fireball you because you're big. Now, once you two fight, we're just gonna have to have the king duke it out with the rest of them, which is losing so much health. Ow. I don't want to do that anymore. Please have good things. Oh my gosh, this guy's 100 value? Oh, and this one has a thing where I can double his value. That could be really powerful. Or I just get 100 value outright. If I find another one of those big things i'm probably gonna need it yeah let's go ahead and take him a hundred oh and it's a worm and okay you have over 100 value so i just don't like fighting these slimes because i have to get exact or else it's just pain i can get exact with you right there but then i should probably give some guys zeal so you two are going to fight over there and this worm has such a weird value 41 i can have somebody's health i need to remember that what does your health have 80 Ooh, i can work with that that's just you two together so that's easy although i still have the big duck here that's i should probably use the duck and that worm is going to be annoying as well so if we do 25 times 2 that's 50 and then add you two together that's 150 and then we exponent the mouse so the mouse fights you and then does that and then the duck fights you to take you out entirely all right i'm just gonna fireball this slime here so i don't have to worry about it and then we can half the health of the worm down to 21. Ooh, that works pretty good. Oh, but he's gonna eat somebody. Actually, it doesn't matter who he eats because as soon as he dies, we get the unit back right away. So here, just fight you and then you two fight. Now I have the mouse again, except these numbers are weird now. Well, sort of weird. You two together does that one. And then I just unfortunately have to take more damage. Let's just get it over with so we can move on from this pain. Oh, I forgot he splits. All right. It's the same damage either way. That's fine. I'm just having my health entirely the rest of the way. Why are there three of these things? That is not cool at all. And then just one little slime worth nine. You're gonna be the one that kills me. I know it. Having these monsters' health values, I'm not really sure how to work with any of them. 
Math is hard. If I could take these guys down to 25 health, then I could at least use a fireball in one of them. And I can do that by multiplying these two together to make 300. And then add you two together to create 302. Fighting you again down to 25, so that's an easy takeout. But there's the rest of these guys to contend with. 26 squared gives us way too much. 21 squared, 441, still too much. Adding... You two together to create 12 squared is 144, which you can do by having your health, kind of. Having your health is a lot better for that. Ooh, but here we have 126. That's kind of better. That would leave you with nine remaining, but then I can't do anything with you, and then I still have to fight you. I'm not sure there's a way I can spin this. So we're just going to go out with a bang and fight the biggest one. Yeah! Oh, we got so far, but... It wasn't enough. Super fun game, though. If you guys want to see me try and beat this in a different video, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Lucas S, Splattersax, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, Daggerty, and Sans.